Welcome to our Shift the Earth's Orbit experiment. In this experiment, we're going to try and, well, since it's February 26th, 1989, it's in the middle of winter and there's no snow, we're saying, where's the snow? So I think if we, since it's daytime, we, should, and we set off a suitably large explosion on this side of the planet, the Earth will be uh, propelled uh, slightly in the other direction, away from the sun, and We'll experience colder winters and hopefully, hopefully, more snow. In the Earth's orbit experiment, I crafted this wooden block, a hole in the center, it goes down to about this depth. I have an SD's model rocket engine, model A34T, which goes in like this. Now here's a diagram of the rocket engine. And normally it would be positioned like this, with the rocket going straight up. The black represents a, a tightly rolled cardboard tube. The cross hatch places are clay caps. Now the igniter goes up in here. When it's set off, this blue propellant starts exploding in all directions. And since it can't go this way, it can't go this way, it can't go this way, it comes out the hole here and propels the whole thing forward. It keeps uh, expanding the chamber in here until it gets to the uh, green part, which is the uh, smoke and delay section. At which point the rocket is already, through its momentum, coasting upward. And this it just helps you track the rocket for the smoke that's pouring out. Now the red part is called the ejection charge, which is the most fun part of the whole thing. It uh, creates a, high, high, a more high-powered explosion, which blows this clay cap off this way. And it can't budge the tube here, but it goes backwards also. And since it has a wide blockage of the clay here, it primarily creates a force going in this direction and moves, well, in a rocket, it would blow the nose cone out. But in our experiment, since we're going to have it like this, the uh, injection charge will just pop the whole thing uh, right out like this. We call this a move the Earth Earth's orbit experiment because we're going to be placing this on the, the ground. The force is going to be pushing the Earth in this direction. Uh, the Earth is going to be pushing back, of course, but um, we'll try and ignore that uh, <laughs> basic. Uh, uh, Newtonian law there. And in addition, when the ejection charge pu pushes it out this way, we're going to suddenly remember Newton's law and say that since this goes this way, there will be an equal and opposite reaction this way, resulting in a uh, further push, um, putting the Earth uh, slightly off kilter. Casper, February 26, 1989. We're on location. And we have our Earth's orbit altering apparatus set up. And before I start, I thought I'd just like to say one question. Did you get your free phone card yet? If not, talk to me. Okay. Let's light this torch. Okay, just to show you the aftermath of that one, the uh, hole has a kind of a sulfury residue in there from the ejection charge, and the engine is burned clean through. It's kind of toasted on this side. It reached about 30 stories height. I mean, <laughs> feet, 30 feet, uh, and. So far, I don't. It doesn't seem to be getting any colder. Maybe by by this afternoon, next week, maybe we'll start seeing some snow from this. Okay. Wow! Look at this. It started snowing. And they say science doesn't work. <laughs>